Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about flow problems. Of course, we are still on the application of differential equations. So flow problems. So this problem involves uh, flow of fluids. So in out of a certain um, container or a certain mixture. So flowing out from a, a container or a, a mixing uh, bowl or a mixing tank. So that is flow problems. Okay, so the differential equation for flow problems, okay, is, so the differential equation for that is dq over dt, which is equal to um, rate of gain. minus rate of loss okay so for example if we have here our container okay so let's say actually this is a funnel so it is exiting out so this will be your rate of loss so it will be maybe liters per second a milliliters per second or cubic meter per second so depending on the given you have here a pipe it's also flowing here so this will be your rate okay rate of gain again same unit with the rate of loss so it will be milliliters per second or cubic meter per second depending on the given so we are trying to find q so that is the concentration of the mixture or the fluid at any time t and dq over dt so this is the rate of change of the mixture so of course we need to get the diff the equivalent equation for the rate of gain this is gain not gain rate of gain minus rate of loss on which we could now solve for the differential equation equation of that um, given problem okay so now let's have to appreciate this formula we will have our example okay so in a tank or uh, in a tank are 100 liters of brine containing 50 kilograms of dissolved salt. Pure water is allowed to run into the tank at the rate of 3 liters a minute. So brine rounds out, runs out of the tank at a rate of 2 liters a minute. So the instantaneous concentration of the tank is kept uniform by steering. How much salt is in the tank at the end of 1 hour? Okay. So... We have here our solution. Okay, first we must find the the amount of um, the amount or the concentration of salt at any time. So we have here hundred li liters. So that is hundred liters inside the salt uh, inside the tank. Then plus this will be our Q. Okay, plus um, we have uh, the there is w pure water flowing inside the tank three three liters per minute and also two liters per minute of brine running out so that is three minus two in order for this to become a concentration we need to multiply this with t so simplifying this one we'll have one hundred plus t okay. So to get the concentration of salt, so that will be Q over 100, uh, over 100 plus T. So this is our um, concentration of salt. Okay, so that is one. Concentration of salt. Okay. Okay. So now we will try to find the concentration of salt at a given time so if we're going to have maybe we'll have a new slide here ok 
Okay, new slide. Okay, so we know that the our our Lipschitz equation is dQ over dt is equal to rate gain minus rate of gain. Okay, of gain minus rate of loss. Okay, so we have dQ over dt. Okay, so initially we don't have rate of gain because the the one that is poured is not brine but uh, but only a pure water so that will be zero minus two the two liters of water is running out um, and this will be the concentration of salt is um, q over q over 100 plus t okay so we'll end up with dq over dt is equal to negative 2q over 100 plus t. Okay. So we now have this equation. Let's copy that one so that we could carry that to the, uh, to the next slide. Okay, so let's move here. Okay, now we need to solve for the differential equation of this one. Okay. Okay, so this is a simple variable separable. Okay, so just a variable separable. So we could have this one. Okay, so we multiply both sides by um, that will be dt over q. So we we'll end up with dq over q is equal to negative 2 dt over 100 plus t. So integrating both sides, we will have ln q is equal to negative 2 ln 100 plus t plus c. Okay, so we'll leave our general solution for us this one. Then next is we are going to solve for our C. Okay, we are going to solve for our C. So at T is equal to 0. So we are going back to our problem. Initially, there is 50 kilogram of dissolved salt. Okay, so that will be um, at T is equal to 0, the initial Q, the initial concentration of salt is equal to 50 kilograms. So we just substitute this one. So ln 50 is equal to negative 2 ln 100 um, plus 0 plus C. So we could have our could have our Equation simplified, so ln 50 is equal to negative ln 100 squared, so using the log exponent plus c, okay, so we're running out of space, we have a new slide, so that is ln 50, so you have this transpose our ln negative ln 100 squared to the other side of the equation. So we'll end up with ln 50 plus ln 100 squared is equal to C. Okay. Okay, so now let's have this one at t is equal to unknown. So our q will be, let's go back to the problem. So, okay, so the, our t is equal to 60 minutes. So we're looking for the concentration, not the time. So this is equal to 60 minutes, okay? So q is equal to the unknown. So we have ln 60 is equal to oh no no it's ln q sorry for that because we are looking for the concentration so ln q is equal to 
L negative LN negative 2 LN 100 plus T where T is equal to 60 plus C where C is equal to this one LN 50 plus LN 100 squared so we have LN Q is equal to L negative LN 100 60 okay that is 160 160 squared plus ln 50 plus ln 100 squared we could now solve for our q so q is equal to e so raise this all okay or maybe we could simplify this first maybe we should have that one so that we could have a much clearer solution okay so lnq is equal to this is ln 50 so using the property of logarithm 100 squared over so we just have that one in a bigger bracket here so this will be 160 squared okay so our q is equal to so raise this one to e okay this will be equal to 50 times 100 squared over 160 squared okay so using now our calculator okay let's just have our calculator posted on the Okay, so maybe we should get our calculator here to show up. Okay, is that here? We go. Okay, so we have uh, we have here fifty times one hundred squared over one hundred sixty squared. And this will be equal to 19.53 okay so we have so our q is equal to 19.53 okay so we have some discrepancy on our pen here or digital pen so that is 19.53 kilograms okay and this will now will be our answer so the unit is kilograms because the given is kilograms. So basically that is flow problems. So the most um, tedious part or most uh, somewhat difficult part is getting this one. So you just need to analyze the problem. So this is getting the concentration of this salt. Okay. So we just have this one because this is the concentration of water. Then you have to have the salt so that is at any time. So this is the concentration of so, so just read the problem and try to create the uh, the equation for that one okay so again this is the initial 100 liters then we have here the 3 liters per minute minus 2 so we have the in the out because they are liters per minute so liters a minute so that's liters per minute so we need to have that one in terms of time so that is times t okay so I hope you learned something on this discussion. If you have questions, so feel free to comment on the comment section. And thank you for watching. And as always, enjoy learning.